Hey, Brent Porcy at topvelocity.net. We're going to do a pitch announce here, Ethan. I'm going to pair him up with this uh, Japanese pitcher. Uh, his name's Asao. So let's take you out of leg lift, Ethan. Let's watch Asao come out of leg lift here. You can see when he comes out of leg lift, big difference in how he starts to move towards the mound, or down the mound, towards the, the plate. You can see covering good distance. You can see you're not covering much distance, but that does take a lot of athleticism. It takes a lot of strength and mobility in your pelvis to be able to do this, but it's gonna create a big difference. See, he gets to a point where his shin is linear. Yours is a little too vertical. So when he wants to open now, because and also too, he has more momentum going forward, but when he wants to open his front foot, he now can drive his back foot or his back leg. So into landing, <clears throat> he gets a lot of drive, peak of ground force, and it causes his hips to open. And he does a great job at delaying his trunk. You can see when you go into landing, you haven't driven yet. So your hips are closed. And therefore you don't have what we call hip to shoulder separation. So when you go to rotate, your hips and shoulders go together, and it causes you to push your elbow forward because your trunk stops short, so your arm has to continue. You can see a sow when he, after front foot, when he lands, the trunk goes forward and the arm stays back and releases before pushing forward. As opposed to you, you keep pushing forward. So that's a more arm approach. His is a more, what we call kinetic chain, a total body approach. And it really comes down to taking your hips forward and down at the same rate. So when you're ready to open and drive, your shin is linear. Okay. And then <clears throat> when you hit front foot, you get the drive off, you're off the rubber. Therefore, your hip is open. And there you just delay your trunk to your arms not ready to go forward. Your trunk is still closed and you create this hip to shoulder separation. Then after that, it's just good front leg stability, strength, and then your trunk delivers the ball, not your arm like you're doing here. So these are just the core principles of 3X pitching that you can start to develop in our training.